Good morning, Miss Brown from Science here. Today is Monday the 22nd of June and it is National Windrush Day, a day whereby we celebrate and appreciate the contributions of those arriving from British colonies after the Second World War. The Windrush generation came at the request of the British government to help rebuild the country following the devastating effects of the Second World War. It is really important to note that the people who arrived were invited to the UK as British citizens to help meet the labour shortage they all arrived legally. This image shows arrivers disembarking the Empire Windrush. They all look smart and very respectable. In 1948, the British Nationality Act was granted to all countries in the British Empire and gave all citizens the right to live and work in the UK. This was before the immigration laws of 1962 came into place, so many people from around the world moved to the UK in hopes of better prospects where they could settle indefinitely. This is a very powerful image of the UK after World War II. There simply was not enough people to rebuild, so people from the Caribbean were needed. Whilst most of the arrivals were from the Caribbean, there were also several British white people returning after their travels, as well as some passengers from other countries close to the Caribbean, such as Mexico. The Windrush generation doesn't just refer to those who arrived on the uh, HMS Windrush. It also refers to anybody who arrived from the Caribbean um, or the West Indies during uh, between 1948 and the early 1960s. The Windrush generation was very, very big news and arrivers were interviewed uh, about their experience and what they expected and hoped now that they had arrived. The British people, however, were not happy to see so many black people in their country and this marked a very difficult time for um, the Windrush generation. The levels of racism varied and it's important to remember that these people were British citizens and had been invited from the British colonies to help build up the motherland. It's a shame really to look at these images and to see that even today at this time we are still protesting for justice and equality. I just want you to take a moment to read um, the information on this slide. Imagine arriving at the request of the British government to help the British citizen or the British citizens and to be treated this way as a second class citizen. Remember, Britain could not be built without them. The Windrush generation were needed and ha had been asked to come to help the country. There were protests against the Race Relations Act in 1968 by the national born citizens. The act they were compa campaigning against was the Race Relation Act of 1968 and this meant that it was now against the law to refuse housing or employment or public services such as the NHS based on a person's colour, race, ethnicity or nationality. The Windrush generation were skilled workers who were able to contribute to the rebuild of Britain. Here's some images of those skilled workers, some nurses who arrived as part of the Windrush generation. And some more images of skilled workers. The Windrush generation rebuilt the physical structures of Britain and helped improve the economy. Lover's Rock was a genre of music created by black British Caribbean people and was an evolution of reggae music that developed and took off in the UK. It includes the number two single, Silly Games, by Janet Kay. 
I have been lucky enough to see her perform this track live. Trojan Records were one of the biggest record labels and they were British. They founded in 1968. I'll get the link to some of the music from Trojan Records to be shared um, in your year group teams. Kelso Cochran was a skilled carpenter but was saving up so that he could study law. Cochrane was injured at work and had to attend the hospital. When he was discharged from hospital, he walked home late at night. On his way home, he was stabbed by a gang of white youths and it killed him. Similarly to what we are seeing now, this touched people and more than 1,200 people attended his funeral. There is also a blue plaque at 36 Goldborn Road in London to honour his life. This happened in just in 1958 and is believed to have led to the 1958 Notting Hill riots. Following this tragedy, um, activist Claudia Jones started organising events to celebrate Caribbean culture in the face of white racism. This later became the Notting Hill Carnival. This is an image of the first indoor carnival organised by Claudia Jones um, and it took place on January the 30th, 1959, five months after the riots. This is the carnival now in 1960s and it's moved outdoors. Another image from 1960. Another image from the 1960s. This image is from the 1970s. This image is from 1990, and this image is from 2019. Brixton has a largely black community, and it's influenced the local culture. It's influenced it so much that the Windrush Square um, can be found in Brixton, and this is what it looks like. This is Brixton Market. And this is Bob Marley visiting Brixton. This is the importance of music and sound systems. Again, this image is taken in Brixton. The Brixton riots took place in 1981. And it took place because black people um, were fed up and angry um, due to police brutality. First generation Black Britons, this is the generation of young people who were either born in the UK following parental migration or came to the UK very young. Police brutality and the mistreatment of these first generation Black Britons in particular led to the Brixton riots. In 2017, the Windrush scandal broke. Citizens from the Commonwealth, from the West Indies, from the Caribbean were British citizens and did not require paperwork to prove it due to the 1948 British Nationality Act. However, the Home Office started to deport these people or prevent them from re-entering the country if they had left to go on holiday or visit somewhere else and return. The reason why this scandal... Um, was so big was because the home office actually knew what was happening and was given plenty of warnings and they did not respond to protect its citizens so today the 22nd of june is annual windrush day and this marks the arrival of the hundreds of west indians to the uk aboard the empire windrush as a school, I would like us to celebrate uh, Windrush Day and the contribution that the Windrush generation made. And there will be three tasks posted throughout the week on Teams, um, tasks that you can do to celebrate Windrush Day and the Windrush generation. Thank you for listening. <laughs>